hello guys welcome to my channel if you've not subscribed please subscribe like watch and share yeah so today i'll be making magluba it's most common in the gulf countries in the arab countries so i'll be making magluba so please join me in this journey making the magluba if you have any suggestion please don't don't hesitate to comment yeah so for the african ladies working for the arab people as house managers and you're cooking food be sure this is a good thing to do for them if you don't know i will guide you through so i'll make this tutorial for anyone who is interested to learn through me so let's do this a kenyan cooking new magluba so i have my things already i have them prepared already so i'm gonna show you guys how things are so for the using so you can see you need rice you marinate it with the cinnamon black pepper and salt in uh, eggplant in round shape so i i did cut them like this just so that it can hold not to break when i fly it and i have my potatoes marinated with salt and i have my curry flour marinated with salt so i had made some um, soup soup uh, from the chicken and i marinated it using a uh, whole spices i used whole spices for this because this is very important because it's gonna bring the flavor to the rice to the curry flour to the because i'm gonna put all these things in one place together so this one i used the cinnamon cardamom black pepper serally and i also used them um, uh, what else did i use them yeah and garlic uh, tomatoes and i also put um, onion so all those and salts so when you boil them for some minutes and then you'll take out the meat and then you uh, sieve your soup and there it goes you have your soup so this one i'll fry this so we're gonna just go ahead and do that so that you can fry this one i have my onion here this one is for i'll have cooked the rice so that i'll use it when i mix all of them so i'm just gonna ahead fry a little bit of this onion yeah onions give food flavor a lot you guys especially we use a lot of my boss likes a lot of onion in the food so i just use one onion depends on the quality on the how much food you're going to cook so i used one so i'm gonna use this tomato paste tomato paste here so i'll put it depends on how much you want i'll use it here so guys so that it can cook because we need it cooked we don't need it very raw so i cook it sorry guys my recording is not so so clear you guys will bear with me with time everything will be fine yeah so anyone who wishes to work in gulf especially on the local families not especially mostly on the local families if you're working for egyptians those people, those people like these things so don't be afraid when they tell you you shall be cooking so easy i'm giving you the easiest recipe you can ever find this one and it is so tasty it's so amazing and i forgot to say that when you're boiling your chicken with the spices with the whole spices we use the whole spices so don't forget that you don't take out you don't take out the skin so because the skin is going to bring flavor to the soup so we're gonna have to use the skin so while this one is cooking guys i have my oil here so i'll just go ahead and fry those so i had already washed and marinated everything so i'm just gonna show you the cooking and then 
I show you guys the results. You're going to love the results. It's amazing. It's amazing, guys. I can't wait. I love doing this dish. It's so easy. It's the easiest dish. So you guys stay tuned for more. So I think my onion is ready. So I'll go ahead and put sorry. I'll put my rice. Yeah. and I'll boil it with the soup from the chicken so it has some flavor so guys while my rice is cooking I just go ahead and fly the eggplant yeah So guys, now that our rice is ready, you can see it's ready and uh, our cauliflower, potatoes and our eggplant, this is how it looks. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the next um, pot where we go going to cook everything all together with the rice to finish cooking the rice. So. I'm gonna put this is a wax paper I put down to avoid burning and some a little bit of oil so I I'll put uh, some onions down some round onions down this is how I'll do it okay because the raw onions will give them some flavor give the food amazing flavor so that's how we're gonna have the pot looking like i'll have cooked the rice and i'll use the soup from the chicken yeah basically we use people use water but i'm going to use this because it's going to give the rice a lot of flavor a lot of flavor so Here we go so my rice is mixed with the the egyptian rice and uh the basmati one so it depends on how you want your rice and i'm going to simmer i'm going to simmer so that it will cook slowly and half so guys this is my outcome of the, the things so I'm going to go ahead and put all of them here. I have my wax paper and I have some a little bit of oil down so that them um, it won't burn. So I'm gonna show you and my rice is ready. I forgot to show you guys there. My chicken is there and my soup is here to cook the rice completely. So I'm gonna show you the result. This is how the rice looks like. You so you put okay you have to put the wax paper down you put the wax paper and oil down oil first and then the wax paper and then you'll put the onions raw onions not cooked raw you cut onions like uh, round shapes so and then you have to put uh, you start with the eggplant a layer of eggplant a layer of potatoes and a layer of cauliflower 
okay you can use um tomatoes if you like but i didn't want to put it and then you put the chicken and then your rice and then you will put so up uh, the soup around and yeah you simmer it until the rice is cooked yeah and you i'll just flip it when i finish so it's gonna be so good and tasty so this is the amazing 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 results the magluba i hope you guys have enjoyed my video thank you see you in the next video so comment below and tell me your thoughts give me more suggestion of what i'm going to make i'll be making so many things so let me know bye